What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Happy Monday to you guys. Happy 1st of August to you guys. Before I get into today's video, I just want to let the joint FOAs know that I got the stickers in. I really like the way that they turned out. I can't wait to send them to you guys. Uh, here's what one of them look like. They are a peeled sticker, and you can place them on like here. I have it on this... Uh, kettle here uh, you can put it on your favorite mug or even on a refrigerator any way you please but that's the way they look it says badge of honor join foas and then the usual information like with anthony foas and that friends of anthony i really like them now i did just get a sample pack so that i can make sure that it met my approval they did. I ordered um, some more for all of the other joint FOA so that I can give everyone one. I'll let you guys know once I get them and let you guys know where to send your uh, mailing address so that I can get these out to you. Also, I want to say to the joint FOAs that once I get back from uh, the camping site, I am going to have our first monthly drawing. It's going to be four. Now, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I'm going to choose something from off of um, Amazon because it will be easier for me to get your mailing address and then send the Amazon drawing prize to the FOA winner. You know, I think that would be easier. And, you know, I don't want to get stuck in a rut of just giving out um, gift cards. So I think I'm going to choose two gifts from off of Amazon and I'll let you guys know what they are. And we'll have a drawing with the uh, joint FOAs and we'll take it from there. All right guys, let's get into today's video. Make some hot dogs, baked beans for lunch today. All right, today I'm gonna try to use this uh, induction cooktop for the first time. Uh, I tried to play around with it yesterday and I tried to put that frying pan right there 
on top of it, but I don't think that's the right surface for the induction. Um, apparently by reading some of the, uh, the manual, the pot or whatever you put on top of the induction has to have a certain surface. I don't think that frying pan has it because it didn't do anything. The operating instructions was pretty simple. Just turn it on, it's gonna beep, you're gonna hit a fan, and it won't do anything until you place a pot or a pan with the right bottom surface onto it. So I decided at this time today, I'm gonna to try my other little pot and I'll show you guys the bottom of that surface. All right, here's the difference in surfaces. This one right here has nothing on it, nothing on the bottom. And I'm not sure, again, if this is the correct surface. This one here has this little plate on the bottom of it. So I'm thinking that this will work on there, but we'll see. For now, I'm just gonna turn it on, let the air fan go, and then I'm gonna sit this pot on there and see if it actually starts doing something. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, induction bowl. I really like it. All right, you should hear if you can. Now, it's not supposed to activate until you put a pot on it. It is working, <laughs> it's working. That means that, that means that that surface on that pot was not the correct surface. Let me show you guys. See, I don't know if you can see that, but that right there is on 35. That's the power level. When it comes on, it's automatically on 5.0. So I watched a YouTube video earlier and it says that you should just reduce it to whatever power you're on. So I reduced it to 3.5. Now let's put it on, I don't know, let's, let me see. All right, that's good for now. I know at least what the problem was from yesterday when I was playing around with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off now. And I know now that I can fix my baked beans in there and put my hot dogs in there after they grill along with the baked beans and have me some grilled hot dogs and baked beans for lunch today.
All right, my neighbors left and they left some wood over there and I asked them if I can have that wood and they say yes, so I'm going and get that wood. That was a chore, but it was for free, so good going. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> Got some grilled hot dogs and baked beans for lunch. And some iced tea. I know I do a lot of cooking videos when I'm at the campsite. Uh, 
now that you guys know what the campsite is about, you know that I can't be freely taking the camera around the campsite. Um, I'll try to get up in the morning early and do a walk. We have one more person uh, that's occupying one of the sites uh, behind me that I showed you in the last video. They're packing up and leaving today. And so I would hopefully be able to show you guys uh, around. I'm thinking about, well, I'm not gonna do that. I already did a tour video. Um, I'm hoping to uh, take a dip in the pool <clears throat> at some point today or tomorrow because I have a couple more days here. So we'll see how it goes. I eat these. Mm. I eat these hot dogs all the time, and seem like when they are grilled, they're more salty than when I uh, just put them in some boiling water and eat them that way. Yeah, they taste a little a little salty.